how epic this is. What's going on everyone? Welcome back to another video. It's day two of van life gathering. It's like nine o'clock in the morning. Here's where we're staying, since I didn't show you in yesterday's video. So, it's absolutely incredible here. Anyways, we just woke up, so we're gonna make some coffee. Some Chemex, brought that stuff with. So I can wake up, and then we're gonna make some bomb breakfast burritos. Wafik, say hi to the vlog. You didn't say hi yesterday. Yow! So that's Wafik. He's making breakfast. I'm making coffee. And then we have Polo. Hi, Polo. Hi. Good boy. Alright, we got some coffee. Now we're just gonna make some bomb ass breakfast. What's on the menu? We're making eggs, potatoes, onions, peppers, hash. Yum! Delish. We have a beautiful background. Okay, so now that we have some food in us, which was freaking dank, by the way. That was so good. We're gonna walk around and talk to some van life people, see what this whole thing's all about. I've never even been near it, really. One of my buddies does it. This is like trial by fire, kinda. I slept in a, a uh, van life type setup last night, so I'm experiencing it right now. Anyways, there's these guys at Wafik knows. Uh, they have a pretty sick band, so we're gonna go check it out. Absolutely. Hi. What do you want? This is Robbie. I'm Robbie. Can I stop Hi, Robbie. My shoes? Cool. Yeah. So where are you guys originally from? Uh, Laguna Beach, California. And so we were living there, and then packed up all our stuff, sold it, put as much as we could, and, or as much as we wanted to, in storage, and then peaced out. Um, so yeah, we left. Uh, we had a 10-month trip where we left Laguna Beach, California. Um, and took our van to 30 national parks. 20 national, 20 national parks in 30 states. 28 states. 28 states. <laughs> and Two Canadian provinces. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. What made you like pull the trigger on the van life thing before the 10 month? Mm. Sure, so I, we were actually uh, prepping for a transition point in our life. Um, and I knew I wanted to go to graduate school. And so we had been saving up for over a year, knowing that at some point we were going to move, you know, to go to do that. Yeah. Um, and then we, you know, as it got more and more and I got into my schools, it was gonna be a two year commitment. And we were like, you know, we'd like to, we were gonna do a three month trip and then extend it into a five month trip. And then we were like, you know what? Let's just this grad it. school thing isn't gonna work. It's gonna cost a quarter million dollars in debt. Or we could or we save could money, save which is it. funny. So we lived in Laguna on the water. It was such an ideal spot, like the most iconic place you could live. So we were renting and we knew it wasn't sustainable. We knew we wanted to buy a house at some point and it was kind of one of those things where it was like, this so, is our transition time, so. So we took everything that we could and went into the van. This is all his idea, by the way. Yeah. Not, not, pushing, at all, pushing not at all my thing. Hey, Ali, look at these Instagrams. Yeah, he's look like, at how look much at fun these, these people YouTube videos are about vans. I'm like, what are you talking about? Yeah. The other cool thing about just the whole culture of van life is um, it's just the people. How can we, uh, you know, just share it together and, you know, make some friends. And yeah. so we have, you know, six people here who are all van couples that, you know, we've met on the road. On Instagram. You know, yeah, and just always. met through Instagram and, yeah. you know, you really understand how big the community is and... What I like to tell people is, so I am a musician and, and that I, I have my degrees in opera, so the outdoors culture wasn't something that I really grew up with. It wasn't like, a, like I'm like a backpacker, like hardcore kind of thing and 
when we did this whole thing, I was actually really nervous about it because I'm, I, you know, I'm not super hardcore that, in that way, and some some van lifers can be. But I always tell people that's not the point. Like the point isn't to be, you know, who's who's trailing what and who's doing which backpacking trip and who's got the most awesome Patagonia everything. Like it's this idea of freedom. Like that's really what it comes down to. It's just cool. freedom of everything. Can you Come take here, him out? This is our two-story home. Um, um, we sleep on top. Hot and cold water. Hot and cold water. Um, this is our wow, bed. I, stand up in here. I know. <laughs> and what's so cool about our bed is it pulls out, so we can pull it out that way, oh, sleep up there, and then when we're you know out during the day, we just push it back up, so that we have all the room in the world. We've got a great cross breeze right here. And then we have these guys for nighttime. And these keep it really, really warm, which is great in the winter when we're here. We also have a heater, which is awesome when it's 19 degrees in Bryce Canyon. Yeah. <laughs> some van lifers their what? van's pretty sweet i love that the pop-up tent was really cool um we're gonna keep walking around getting more content for work and the vlog it's freaking beautiful out here it's warm it's like just the right temperature and the surrounding area is amazing so we're gonna keep walking around looking for stuff to shoot escape before it's too late Polo? Polo, you looking? Polo. Yeah, you're looking, huh? All right, ready, set, go. Get him. Well, we decided to walk out of the gathering area. It's back there. We're gonna look at it from a different angle. There's this cool meadow. You get a really clear view of this whole valley. Look how epic this is. It's huge out here. Hopefully this camera is doing it justice. Okay, we're gonna head back in. We're gonna make some lunch, hang out for a bit. The uh, We set up our power practical tent right in the middle of everything. And uh, all the Australian guys are gonna play some music. They have like a whole drum set and guitars. They're really good. I wanna, I'm excited to get to know them a little bit more. We're gonna go back and just relax for a little bit until then. All right, you guys, so that's part one. Originally, I was gonna just put the entire day into a single vlog. I did that, but then it was like 18 minutes long, and there was some long sections in there that might not flow well. So I split it into two, post the next one either tomorrow or the day after, so keep an eye out for that. But half the day was awesome. I'll do a little roundup at the end of next video on everything that I took away from it. So hopefully you guys enjoy. Thanks for watching this video. Welcome to all new subscribers. Really appreciate it. Thanks for the comments and the likes, everyone. Greatly appreciated. Um, that's all I got. So thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you in part two later.